Hi, this is Kathy Campbell with Coldwell Banker. We're here today with Lisa Schering. She's a color consultant and also great at decorating and adding personal touches to your home. Lisa today is going to share with some tips on how she decorates using plates. And most of them you say you get from thrift stores. Oh, right? I get them all from thrift stores. All from thrift stores. Yard sales so. and thrift stores. My my treasure hunting is so fun. Okay, T teach us. What okay, you? so this is super simple. Um, a lot of times you have wall space that you don't know what to put in it. It might be a large, expansive space. It might be a narrow space. Um, and something you can do to decorate and add kind of a punch of color, your personality is to decorate with plates. Okay, and these are a couple examples of plates that I've gathered, collected blessed. from. Yeah, blessed. I think I got this one at Goodwill. Got probably this one at a yard sale or something. I'll collect them because I I have a thing for plates. Like if I see different pottery or ceramics that I kind of can easily so like a wood line or something you're looking for something yeah. that calls to you. Mm -hmm. that you think I might look for a color or just I really have a hard time saying no to a plate. Okay. So I bring a lot of plates <laughs> home. <laughs> and then I store them until I figure out how I'm going to use them. When I find the color scheme that I that I know that I can use in a place form, I just take this nifty sawtooth hanger and adhere it to the back of the plate with epoxy. This is um, called JB Weld. You can also use something that's called E6000, which is in every craft store, and it's in more of an adhesive glue. I like the epoxy because it has a it, it hardens and has kind of a firmer grip. Some people like E6000 because there's a little flexibility to it. Where you're putting um, a ceramic plate on the wall, I think it's best to to use an epoxy. So this stuff. one you've got a little hook on. Yeah, so this is just a different and, kind of hanger, okay. right? This is kind of whatever I, I find. So this is just the epoxy. And it takes about five minutes to cure and harden. And easy peasy. And then you have a, a, a wall that kind of expresses your personality, can add pops of color. I think it adds elegance and charm to your home. Do you have a rhyme or reason? Do you have to have an odd number even? Do you do a balanced? What no, do you... I mean, um, this one I started out with just these six. And then I found this one. I thought, oh, I can put one on top. So, oh, so it kind of evolved. Yeah, this one, if you look around this room, I pulled the colors from this room into this display. It's All just right. a fun way to decorate, add personality to your walls, and really it's super affordable. Most plates at a thrift store or yard sale you can pick up for under a dollar. And then the sawtooth hanger and the epoxy, very affordable. So here's another example of um, filling a space with some decorative plates. And these plates I love, I especially love, I kind of gathered them over a few years. Um, that's the thing that's fun about this is they're not expensive. So it's not like you're putting a lot of money into something that you may not use. Because if you don't use it, it's not like you've you know, broken the bank. Um, so I'll just gather plates over the years and when I see that I have a good enough grouping that I can fill a space, then I'll start kind of messing around with the configuration. You also use cake stands a lot. Yeah, right? so I like to use things in a way that they weren't intended for. So here's an, an example of this. This is just a galvanized uh, tin cake stand. I have a couple of them and I've used it as a plant stand. I like that because it elevates the plants, gives them more height and, okay. and kind of balances out the rest of the things I have here. This is also just a cute little like cookie or serving tray that I found that I put some ceramics on. Yeah, so here's another example of using something in a way that it wasn't intended. So, this is a rug for your floor, and I loved the colors of it, I loved the texture, and it was very affordable, and so I used it just kind of as a little table runner. 